Hey guys, welcome to a vlog. Uh, vlog, it's been nearly a month since last vlog. I'm so sorry, these are supposed to be more frequent, not less frequent. Um, I, I've been ill, I've been, oh, it's been crazy, crazy over here. Vlog number 29, if you are keeping count like me. Um, let's just, I've absolutely loads to get stuck into. Uh, things have uh, piled up and got on top of me, so hopefully this vlog will uh, get everything across that I need to get across, and um, we will crack on. Vaping on the RX200 with the UL Rafael. Um, We'll come back to this in the things that I've recently reviewed bit. Um, any other business, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the Rafael in any other business. A few things to say on that. Inside, I've got um, Drip Drop, that blue slushy one in from Drip Drop. Uh, the last dregs of that in there. Uh, I'm wanting to empty the tank so that uh, I can... Uh, do the RBA video. I need to do the RBA video for this. Um, so that is what's next. Let's get into the comments. In the previous vlog, we discussed uh, things that can improve this vlog. Uh, things that will um, things that will improve the vlog uh, was one of the one of the uh, topics. Um, but I will just read maybe nine random comments, um, so and we'll just see where we get to with that. Uh, Christopher Wright says, Thanks for not using Can Kanye West track on this blog, as he sucks balls like a gay fish. Um, slightly politically incorrect, Christopher, but um, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. I'm not a Kanye West fan either. Um, good. Uh, Chris Winky Winkley says, Good video. By the way, I took... I look 10 in snapbacks as well. Uh, I think it instantly makes me look like I was uh, the third pet shop boy, which is a cracking reference, which is weird, lol. What do you think of the Cool Fire 4? I think mine is, I've just got into cloud vaping and it's my first one. Um, Chris, uh, the Cool Fire 4 is very good. I think the Cool Fire 4 Plus is better. Um, but the Cool Fire 4 Plus, you won't go far wrong for what it is. Uh, a solid, solid, solid uh, mod, and I think you'll be fine. Um, Inican news coming up as well uh, in the any other uh, the any other business section in this vlog is massive today. So, uh, so there is that. John Harvey says thanks for the chance to win giveaway coming up in this vlog later, and I'll give you a quick rundown of the recent winners of various other stuff as well. Um, so yes, um, Don Burton. Thank you for being a regular commenter on my channel, Don. Um, Don Burton says, Awesome, hash 28 vape vlog. Really enjoyable, adorable family. And thank you, Vic, for the opportunity. Again, referring to the giveaway. Uh, Richard Burnett says, If you like dripping, you want to try an avocado. Um, I, I would try an avocado. Um, I'm... What I feel about these dripper tanks is, um, I feel that, uh, I feel like the ball has been set rolling now, but these are the very early versions. I feel like, uh, there's going to be a V2 avocado, I feel like there's going to be a UD dripper tank, uh, and when I say dripper tank, it's just what I've decided to call it, uh, I can't think of another name, I mean really it's a Genesis tank, just that can take bigger coils, uh, cotton wick and bigger air holes. Really, that's what it is. But uh, I don't, Genesis just doesn't seem applicable, really, um, for what it is, you know. So, um, dripper. I'm just calling it a dripper tank because it's a dripper with a tank underneath. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to know what to call everything nowadays, isn't it? But um, I feel like these are the early versions, and I think UD might make one. Inakin might make one. Uh, Beyond Vape might make one, and I think those ones, in hindsight of the early versions, I think that's when there's going to be a really good one. Um, so that's why I haven't jumped straight on it. I'm a big fan of the V2, I'm a V2 fan, <laughs> and anything V2 I always think is a massive improvement, uh, just in my experience of vaping. Um, uh, um, 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 um. Yeah, so that's that's that, that's what I think about that. Um, also, technically speaking, from a reviewer point of view, um, loads of people had the avocado before I'd even heard of it. So there was already so many reviews up, I couldn't have added value 
uh, to the world by making another review of it. So that's where I, the, the other thing I thought about it as well. I, I, I try, you know, I try and work on a small vape budget and um, if I see that something's got plenty of reviews, I don't bother buying it. Um, I wait for something that I, I can add value to, you know, something that you guys might be interested in that you haven't seen a good review of yet. Um, that's my logic on that. Um, CM says, where is the real vaping with Vic? Um, I think he's on about Vic Mullen. Uh, Vic Mullen is back. He's back now. He's back from his hiatus, um, which is good. It's good. Go check him out. Um, Vaping Rich says, nice vlog, Vic. Enjoyed the mini blue review. Uh, would like to know in your vlogs what out of the current new stuff you you would have if you were spending your own money. Shame about the juice review reduction. I enjoy them. Uh, I'm sorry about the juice reviews thing. Um, if you're a fan of juice reviews um, and you're a fan of the vlog, then you're laughing because I'm going to be still accepting juice but only to talk about on the vlog. Um, so there's a big lovely exciting juice section coming up in this vlog um, that's I just feel that I can get more useful reviews out if uh, I do less juice reviews because um, I have a very limited time to make videos uh, and so the videos I want to make are the videos that are mainly hardware because I think they're the most valuable to the audience um, the viewing figures uh, you know I can only go with the perception uh, that I'm receiving and my perception based on view count is that less of you are interested in juice reviews and I'm really sorry it's uh, never say never never say never um, but for now I'm not gonna do standalone juice reviews I'm just gonna see how that feels for a little bit um, <laughs> Brian Edward Brian Dino Edwards says uh, disturbing how many vapors have beards um, uh, yeah, it is disturbing. It is disturbing. Our beards are in, aren't they? Beards are hot right now. Beards are so hot right now. Um, in wigs, you know, wigs might be the next thing. You know, if wigs are the next fashion craze, a lot of vapors love wigs. Uh, Brian Ferrante said. Uh, Vic, maybe you can post the bloopers from Filming Channel, uh, channel. Filming Channel Channel? What, what are you on, Brian? Uh, but, but anyway, uh, yes, <laughs> I will go back to putting more bloopers in. Um, uh, yeah, I will go back. I just think it makes my videos look really unprofessional. I don't care, but it does make my videos look really unprofessional when they start with me just swearing. <laughs> um, maybe I'll stick them. At, start sticking them at the end just for the diehards. I don't know. Uh, last one, uh, Mania11 says, great vlog as usual, as we constantly have the consensus that vaping encourages and beautifies smoking, do you feel that cigar-like packages such as the Blue Cig beautifies it more by its even closer resemblance to a packet of smokes? Um, and I said, see what I said, I said yes and no. It's designed that way to attract smokers and help the habitual element of smoking, smoke addiction. I think fashionable people with expensive, cool-looking fashionable gear beautifies vaping more. Um, and I stand by what I said three weeks ago when I said that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what I think. What do you got? What do you guys think? That can be the vlog topic. Um, why is vaping becoming so trendy? What's attracting the kids? Is it just that it's uh, you've got to be over 18 to do it? Kids like doing things that they perceive they need to be older to do. Um, is it the clouds? Is it the fashion? Is it the subculture? What is it the vape models? Is it people? Is it really trendy people, cool people that do these now? You know, people that are perceived as trendy that make videos like this or even cooler videos than this. Uh, is it the YouTube? Is it is YouTube or Instagram? Is that accelerating this uh, this culture of fashion and attracting children? And I don't know. Uh, please put in the comments. Uh, that is the vlog topic for this vlog. Put in the comments what you think. Great comment. Uh, great comment. Worthy of a wider discussion. Get in the comments what you think about that. Um, okay. So. That is that. Let's find out what's coming up for review.
I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Down it goes. Down into my belly. Okay, coffee. Uh, just humanizing myself there, Todd. Um, okay, so, uh, coming up for review on this channel, um, I have the... Uh, I have um, two things from UD coming. Now, I have the Simba tank, which is a ceramic... Uh, coil tank coming from UD and a UD Balrog which is like a new kit that they have available um, now UD specified that I had to get the review out seven days from uh, receiving the product within seven days of receiving the product now I wouldn't normally be able to do that um, morally or physically um, but um, what I'm going to do because I've never done anything with UD before, and I'm a fan of some of their work. I think this is lunacy, this uh, requiring people to do that is crazy. Um, but um, what I'm going to do is, I've said yes, I've said yes, I'm going to receive them. Um, I have a very short review queue at the moment, you know, in terms of things that have been sent to me for free. Uh, so I've said yes, and I'm going to do them inside seven days. But what I'm going to do is, at the start of the video, I'm going to state that uh, I have received them and this review is coming whatever the amount of days is. This review is X days from receiving this product at, by the request of UD. And I'm just going to preface the video of saying that at the beginning. Um, the truth is, um, the my opinion on a product changes so much in the first two weeks, you know. Um, I'll always like it at first, I think, and then over time of vaping it is when I find the annoyances of it, you know. I, I mean, I can ev I can evaluate on face value any product without even using it, just through everyone. Everyone can, you can, you know. That's how you decide what to buy ultimately, isn't it? But um, yes. Uh, so you, I don't approve of you UD doing that, but um, it just happens that I'm in a position to be able to do that, and that's my solution to the problem. So my reviews will be less accurate than usual potentially. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do for those two products. Okay, that's the end of that. Uh, I've got uh, this to review. This is the U... Uh, the <laughs> this is the Beyond Vape um, Ar Arthas? Arthas? I wanted a 26650 mod. Um, so I bought a 26650 mod. I wanted um, a, a, a good budget 26650 mod. And Beyond Vape are on the slightly more budget side of things um, so this is it beyond vape Arthas uh, mod big copper 26650 mod one slight problem the switch the switch has come without a spring in it uh, or a magnet or however the hell it works um, so I can't review that yet I'm waiting on Waiting on uh, on the spring or magnet or whatever for the switch. I'm waiting for the switch to work. Uh, I've spoke to uh, Vapor Z, which is where I got it uh, from, and uh, the sending one. The sending one. They've been good so far with that. So that's gonna come up. That's gonna come up really soon, um, but not yet. That's gonna come up really soon, but not yet. Um, so yeah. So that's that. Uh, what else we got coming up? Uh, we have got. I'm gonna do two videos. Uh, two videos. I'm gonna do a video for uh, this, which is uh, stainless steel flat wire. Um, I wonder why. Oh, uh, anyway, flat stainless steel flat wire. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do uh, a review for this. Not a review, but just um, you know when I do those vaping Vic tries stainless steel flat wire. I'm gonna do one of those. Just my experiences with it. Uh, my thinking is, you know, I'll give it a whirl and you can decide what you think, uh, whether it's worth trying. Also, um, Niochrome 80, N80, 
Uh, I'm going to do um, a video of that, my experiences with that. I've been playing with it quite a while already, so I'm going to show you a build, show you how I got on, my personal take on those, and whether I think you should give those uh, wire materials a try in for yourself. Um, so that's uh, that's my thinking there. Um, there's a few other things as well coming, but I don't want to tell you about them because I'm not 100% confident they're going to come. Uh, so let's move on to any other business. Okie dokie, so I've sorted my hair out, my hair was doing my head in and the fringe kept dropping. Um, so, any other business, any other business, okay, big, big any other business section. Okay, so, the uh, previously reviewed, the Hasta RDTA, which is this bad boy, Chuck's Massive Tits, um, considering it's... Um, Considering it's a tank, it chucks absolutely massive tits. Um, and the flavour's immense up at 80 watts, 90 watts, whatever. Um, really enjoying it, however. Um, Cthulhu, I've noticed a slight flaw with the deck that it comes with. And so, they, in the production one that's available for sale, uh, they're going to have this improved uh, velocity deck. So, if anyone already has one for whatever reason get in touch with Kafulu and they'll sort you out with the fixed one um, but uh, if you're just going to a shop in the coming weeks to buy one it should have the fixed deck the corrected deck um, the other problem with the Cthulhu was um, the filling the filling is very fiddly it's a real faff um, to fill if you've got a syringe it's cool and that but if you're on the move or whatever you're kind of screwed so what they're doing now is all the Cthulhu RD uh, Hasta RDTAs will come with this filling bottle so if you're on the move with this fill this bottle up uh, it's got like um, you know your syringy needle top um, and uh, you just this makes it really easy to fill back up. So so they're going to fill it back up with that. Um, so yeah, so that's what that's what that's that. I guess it was cheaper for them to produce these bottles than to re-drill every single cuz all it really needs is a hole on the other side or a slightly bigger hole type situation. Um, but that's that. That's where that's at. Uh, so that's that. Uh, Perino London asked me to uh, tell you they have some new juice coming out so go and check out Perino London um, I told them I wasn't doing standalone juice reviews anymore and, uh, yeah they were happy about that but um, yeah so Perino London go maybe check that out uh, something to something to new um, Speaking of other things and little fixes and things, uh, if you not don't follow me on Instagram, um, the I sub G, uh, very famously the I sub G whistles like mad. Um, well, pointed out by a subscriber to this channel, I put in the comment section in one of the videos um, to fix the whistle. All you need to do is change the drip tip. It's something to do with the native drip tip that it comes with. Uh, so. It's fixed now, so I mean, it's that's not the best strip tip in the world ever. But um, why did we ever think? I mean, this is a couple of years old this strip tip. Why did we ever think these drip tips were th the right way to go? They just collect juice in the bowl bit, and then you just suck it up. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But uh, anyway, so all you need to do if you've got a whistly eye sub G is um, change the drip tip. Cool tip, huh? Fixed. Great, great. Top credit to whoever said that. I've forgotten who it was. Michael, was it? I don't know. Um, so, yes, yes. Uh, props. Mad props to whoever said that. Um, that's good. What else? Um, the I sub S. Inakin have asked me to tell you that the um, Cortex, the uh, Inakin Cortex, is about to receive a firmware software update. Um, which will allow it to work in temperature mode with stainless steel and Inakin have now produced and are now selling uh, stainless steel heads for this tank as well so if you're all, all over that stainless steel hype um, then 
something to consider, something to consider. I'm very excited to see how the Cortex works in stainless steel temperature mode because, in my opinion, it's as good as any mod out there in nickel and titanium temperature control. Um, the way it does temperature control, in my opinion, is excellent, really excellent. So I'm excited to see if it's as good for stainless steel because a lot of mods aren't great at stainless steel temperature control, in my opinion. Um, that's that. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, uh, another little piece. Oh, these, these. Uh, Coil Master sent me some of these. Uh, these are. Um, well, they're calling them vape tweezer, but uh, what they're really useful for is um, actually unscrewing things without damaging them. You know, if you've got an RDA stuck on a mod or um, the top cap stuck on a mod, you can use these grips. Um, you can use those grips to uh, remove the thing without scratching it. Because if you use pliers, you run the risk of uh, scratching along the sides and all that sort of stuff, so that's cool. Um, I don't think they were the first people to do these ever in the world, but um, but UD always looking to help, you know, so that's cool. That is cool. Uh, so that is that. Okay, uh, very important news. Uh, Dino the Vaping Biker, uh, the legendary, the lovely, the beautiful Dino the Vaping Biker is on a uh, special guest on the, the current... When's this going out? Well, this week's um, Let's Vape podcast. He is the special guest on this week's Let's Vape podcast. So if you've been waiting for an opportunity to jump on that podcast on, on Mine and Cloudy's podcast, then do that now. Also, I have now got a Facebook page dedicated to vaping. Uh, sorry, a Facebook profile dedicated to vaping. Uh, link in the description to that. Please add me and become my friend. Also on Facebook, uh, we now have... a. A Facebook like page for the Let's Vape uh, podcast and uh, really encourage you to go on there if you're a fan of the podcast. Um, we're going to be discussing topics. You can raise a topic in there for the next pod. So if, the, if you want to actually contribute to, to the podcast and uh, recommend things for us to discuss on the podcast, it's a great place to be. It'll also have loads of useful um, information about the podcast when it's coming up so you don't have to just constantly wonder or keep checking your phone or whatever you'll find out exactly we'll tell you exactly what day it's going to come out and what it's all about um, so yeah so please uh, a link in the description again for the let's vape uh, Facebook page um, and yes please add me on Facebook that'd be immense please 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 add me uh, and and please talk to me as well don't just add me and, uh, and look, you can do that, it's absolutely fine. But uh, it, message me, send me a Facebook message. Uh, that would be lovely. Let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Um, okay, so it's that time. It's the time to do the real life section. So this is the bit where we chop in a montage of what I've been up to the last couple of weeks. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember what I've been up to, but this montage will uh, show you what's going on, so check it out. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, for suffering that, I should reward you with a giveaway, I say reward you with a giveaway, I don't know if my stuff's, uh, uh, anyway, 
Let's do a giveaway. Okay, so previous winners. Previous winners. I'm reading this, sorry. Uh, previous winners. Uh, Mark, a gentleman called Mark, uh, asked me for the stainless steel version of this, uh, the vape only um, kit. Uh, and so I sent him that. Uh, it's not technically a winner, but it was given away. Um, so he got that. Um, I still like this, by the way. It's not a starter kit. I didn't express that well enough in the... It can be a starter kit if you're a starter, and it's a kit. It is a starter kit, but it's also just a vape kit. I could use this in the pub. It chucks tits. Flavor's excellent, and it chucks tits. I could use this. And not, not the purple one, but I could use this in the pub, you know? Uh, out and about vape. Suit-friendly vape. Pocket vape. It's just a vape, it's not necessarily a starter kit. It actually is good. Only problem is, I don't know how widely available the heads are going to be. And it's a very unique head design. So, Okay, so that is that. So Mark got that. Um, giveaway 28 from the previous vlog. A gentleman called Carl, who lives in Essex, got that. And um, the juice giveaway that I did, uh, a gentleman called Mickey, uh, in Louth Island, um, he he got uh, he got the juice. I hope he got the juice. I don't know if I got a message. Um, Mickey, if you're watching this, um, drop me an email just so I know you got the juice. I don't know if there's customs trouble or whatever. It's always the danger uh, with this stuff. But you should have received it by now. So Mickey, drop me an email or tweet or Facebook or anything. Just let me know you got it. Um, or if you didn't get it, let me know if you didn't get it. Um, yeah, so a new giveaway. New giveaway. Giveaway 29. Giveaway 29. Uh, so, you want to send me an email, cdunscovic at hotmail.com. Uh, title of the email or subject of the email, giveaway29. And today you can win this a sealed, unopened um, Joytech E Grip VT. Um, it's the one with the LED screen. Can you see that good? Can you see that good? Uh, it's, a temp it's a temperature one, so yeah. E-Grip VT in gold. I should say it's in gold. It's not in black like the picture. Um, this was actually given to me by Paulie Meatballs, the legendary YouTube reviewer. Um, we exchange items sometimes um, just for each other's mutual benefit. And he sent me this, but I realized that uh, there's already a lot of reviews up there for it. It's a little bit old, and um, it's not how I personally vape. So I thought it'd be a cracking giveaway item. I mean, it's a full kit, you know, this is a solid kit, sealed, brand new, huh? I thought it'd be a good giveaway. So that's what we're giving away. Um, so I need to know uh, your name and address in the body of the email and um, the, answer, uh, the answer to the question. And the question is, what colour is the eGrip VT that you could win? I hope you're paying attention. Um, it's a tough one for me, that. A tough question for me. So what colour is the one you could win? Not the, necessarily the one on the box. What colour is the e-grip that you could win? And go and subscribe to Pauly Meatballs if you're not already. Uh, link in the description to Pauly Meatballs YouTube channel. Beautiful channel. Beautiful pictures. Great guy as well. Um, so subscribe to him or else, alright? Okay. Um, what else? Running on, it's we're running on, we're running on. Okay, so it is time for this infamous juice section to the vlog. It's juice time. It's quite pungent. Oh yeah. It stings the nostrils. Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you, that smells like pure gasoline. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so two people have agreed to send me juice in the no, I'm not doing juice reviews anymore. Uh those people are well, the first one is Chuff Stuff. www.chuffstuff.co.uk. Um, really cool design work. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, a, a lovely lady called Heather sent me this. Chuffstuff.co.uk, a UK juice company. 70 VG. Um, oh, no, sorry, 80 VG. It says on the bottle. Props for saying it on the bottle. Really cool unicorn bottle as well. Chuff Stuff. Um, 
this flavour in particular is Bear Donut, um, which uh, particularly seems up my street. These, these, This card and this sticker will get added to the wall, Heather, if you're watching. Um, go and check them out. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool website. It's a cool uh, company. And the flavours are unique and special and different. It's exactly the sort of juice I would have reviewed if I was still doing juice reviews. Because uh, it's not just run-of-the-mill crap. It's really good. Really cool unicorn bottles. Really cool website design. Interesting, unique, cool flavours. Uh, I'm going to put some on my Velocity here. Um, having a real renaissance with Mex. Uh, really enjoying using Mex. Mex at the moment. Um, so, let's stick it on a Mech. Just for grins, like that's why I got that 26650 mod. Um, in my opinion, 26650 batteries aren't as uh, developed as 18650s because they're not as widely used. Um, so I'm a bit reluctant, but I thought I wanted one, so I got one. Uh, but anyway, this is Bear Donut from Chuff Stuff. Let's give it a blast. really nice it's really nice I wonder if I can pull up the profile quickly see what it says it is compare compare my mental notes with uh, the reality chuff stuff dot co dot uk I am over 18 despite these looks um, Bear Donut, here we go, Bear Donut, so it is 80 VG, it's 450 for 15 mil, 750 for 30 mil, that's a great price. Okay, so Bear Donut is banana, honey, sugar and cinnamon sprinkled donut. Um, now you say it, now you've said it. Oh, I'm getting the bit of banana. Um, the sugary cinnamon is nice as well. Very dry. It's got a very sort of dry, savoury taste to it. Not like a sickly sweet dessert. It's good, you know. It is good. It's really good. I knew it would be good. You can just tell, can't you? Certain juice companies, they just got it going on. It's really good. Go and check it out. Go and check out their flavours because they're so unique. Um, I mean, it's sent to me for free, so... There is always that danger that uh, I'm saying this because it was sent to me for free and I'm incredibly grateful. But uh, if you've watched enough of my reviews, you probably guess that that's not the situation. They've got a flavour called Mama's, Morpheus Choice, Camper's Delight, uh, Caliberry Crunch, Belova, Waterfelon, Bear Donut, Ice Seduction and Lounge Nectar. So these are interesting, interesting flavours and stuff. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Go and check out Chuff Stuff. I won't go on and on. Um, I think that's cool. I think that's cool. The second juice company that agreed to send me stuff in spite of my lack of juice reviews is Vaptasia. Vaptasia have a brand new line. As you may know, I am a massive fan of Vaptasia Killer Custard. I'm also a big fan of Royalty 2, another one of their flavours. Um, Vaptasia Lemonade range. So they've got a new line of juices. Lemonade is the thing. Vaptasia Lemonade. They've got Pink Lemonade and Blackberry Lemonade. And they didn't just send me the card, don't worry. They sent me two bottles. Uh, really cool, really, really cool bottles. Um, packaging and everything. Uh, blackberry lemonade and pink lemonade um, and this is what the bottle looks like very cool very cool design very cool thing going on uh, this is 70 VG I believe um, might be 80 don't quote me on that it doesn't say on the box um, and again this will be going on the wall this will be going on the wall 
Um, so I've got it in tanks. I've got it in the crown. Oop. Got it in the crown. So this one is the blackberry lemonade. It's really good. It's really good. I really like this blackberry lemonade. I didn't even know blackberry was a lemonade, but uh, it's really nice. Really love it. I absolutely think that this is awesome. Um, a very long time I reviewed a juice called, a very long time ago, I reviewed a juice called uh, Vimt, uh, Chimto from uh, Grey Haze. And um, it reminds me of that, the really strong black currant, you know, really tasty black currant is um, a juice maker called Ribena Man. And he makes like a Ribena flavor juice. And it reminds me of that as well. It's really good. It's really, really good. I could vape that all day. I could vape that all day. I could get 100 mil of that and just vape it continuously. I've got the pink lemonade in here. Um, pink lemonade in the I sub S on the cortex. This one's very pleasant as well. It's not as nice as the black currant one or the blackberry one. Um, it's good, it's good, but it's not as good as that black blackberry one. Keep your eyes peeled for that blackberry one. And someone in the UK, for the love of God, if you're a distributor, if you're a vendor in this country, in the UK, for the love of God, please stock Vaptasia. It's some of the nicest juice in the world, and it's not available widely in the UK. Someone get their finger out and uh, stock it. Please, please, please. And if you do, drop me a line simply because I want to buy some. I want to buy some in the UK rather than uh, buy direct from Vaptasia. Um, but if you want to know more, uh, info at Vaptasia.com, Vaptasia.com, at Vape Lemonade on Instagram and slash Vape Lemonade on Facebook. Uh, their new Vaptasia Vape Lemonade line. Check it out. Brand new line. Um, track record immense from Vaptasia. And this is on along the same line. This is good stuff. And I know what it sounds like. I know it sounds like a commercial. But um, you'll see. You'll see in the coming weeks. If it's not good juice, it'll get, it'll get said. It'll get said on the vlog. Don't worry about that. Um, okay, so have we covered pretty much everything? We have. We have. So pretty much covered everything. So I will sign off. Uh, please find the link in the description to my Facebook page. Uh, profile and add me as a friend let's become friends i think that'd be nice um check out the let's vape podcast if you haven't already and um look out for uh all the videos i've got coming up so i've got some good stuff coming up i've got those ud products coming up i'm going to show you the best build for the rafael the current build the <laughs> It's a very flawed concept, the RBA deck on the uh, Rafael. I think the stock heads are great. Um, I haven't felt the need to hit out the um, spit guard thing. I, th I don't have a problem with the spit guard thing. I know some people are recommending removing it. Um, I'm not. Um, however, the RBA head is flawed. It's a flawed design. It's a flawed idea. However, I think I've stumbled across a really good way to build it. So... Um, Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that video where I attempt to rebuild the uh, Rafael RBA uh, base. Um, and all the other stuff as well. Got that Beyond Vape mod, N80 wire, stainless steel wire. If you're not an advanced builder and you don't build all this crazy wire and stuff, even more reason to watch in my opinion because I'll just do it for you and I'll give you my reasons and my takes on it and you can do it, you can sort of, without buying it and without bothering to build it, you can sort of get a flavour for what they're like, these different uh, wire materials, you know, so um, stay tuned for those as well, that's my, that's my logic behind that. Got another history of vaping video coming up as well, so stay tuned for that. And loads of stuff, loads of stuff. I'm going to try and get back on the vlog scene more as well. So thank you very much for watching. Um, enter the giveaway, don't forget to enter the giveaway. I've been Vaping Vic, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.